hey guys now I'm gonna show you how to make this type of Twitter timeline now I'm gonna also give you this type of template so that you can know that how much portion of the timeline you have created will be shown to the Twitter account on your header and how much will be cut here by your profile picture and other margins Twitter is not gonna provide so let's not waste time and get started so guys first of all open the PSD file that I have given it will look like this uh, here you can see the cutoff portion which won't be visible on Twitter the visible area it's uh, in lighter blue color here your profile picture will be there and this portion will also be cut so let's start first I will open the image this one I will press Ctrl A to select it, then Ctrl C to copy it, then Ctrl V here to paste it on this. Now let's resize it by pressing Ctrl T. So we will fit in it. This looks good enough. Now we will adjust the brightness and contrast, reduce the brightness, increase a little bit of contrast. 53 uh, this looks good enough minus 66 let's hit ok now we'll create another layer and select the gradient now select this one third preset which will include the black color and white now hit the reverse check mark it uh, select the like radial gradient from center go a little bit up ok now hit it on overlay reduce the opacity so this looks good enough now we will create a text layer now we will write here CJ designs now we will make it white alright let's increase the size of text right now I'm gonna be selecting the font decibel regular I will give the link in description as usual okay now let's place it in center all right okay now we'll go to this template reduce the opacity of this layers so we can see that it's not matching with profile picture or text and increase the opacity or you can do is like uh, put the ruler here at profile picture now if you don't have this rulers you can hit control R and it will be visible like this and you can select like go to the move tool and drag the lines from here okay now we can increase the opacity again alright so this area this much area is profile picture this area is cut we are not gonna write anything at the bottom so we will reduce the opacity of gradient layer 55 let's take this text a little bit more down alright this looks good enough now we'll create a little bit of 3d effect as you can see in the photo I have shown you in preview so we'll copy this CJ designs text here by pressing alter and dragging it now we will need to rasterize this layer or you can do is go to FX and color overlay now select the red color like little bit of dark color hit ok alright now you uh, like select the move tool and hit the arrow keys we will keep it a little bit left side now we will make one more copy of it alter and drag it now go to color overlay now we are gonna select the blue color darker blue alright hit ok now keep the blue color to the right side let's keep this both copy 
to the downwards of the original white color and select the blend mode to screen and reduce the opacity you can try different like blend modes also like lighten lighter color alright so now we will apply the, the glow effect to the original text go to effects and select outer glow now make sure to select the white color here select the blend mode to screen increase the opacity a little bit like 25 percent then go to the spread uh, make it around 7 percent size okay this looks cool now this is totally in relation with your size of the text so you can tweak around this settings okay this looks good all right now let's select all three press ctrl g to make it in group now let's name it text so let's keep it a little bit more down okay this looks good so now we're gonna add one more text layer a small portion reduce the size now I will write football edits select it reduce the size all right I'm gonna make it a bit more smaller keep it at end now I'm gonna change this text to source sense pro extra light italic now you can get all this font from dafont.com I will give link in description keep it here all right now we're going to give a little distort effect to all of this and also increase the like little bit of shadows and make it like little more vibrant so press ctrl alter shift and e this will make a new layer out of all the visible layers as you can see here we I'm gonna press alter and click here so you can see that all other layers are not visible still you can see whole design so it has like added all the designs into one single layer now I'm gonna go to filter render lightning effects it will take a little bit time to load okay so now we have selected the lighting lightning effects to spot and you can change the colors a little bit head spot which will increase the inner circle okay now I reduce the gloss metallic a little bit ambience I'm gonna reduce color also you can tweak around a little bit more according to your images and text this looks good enough to me I will see the preview hit ok I'm gonna select the all visible layer again and I'm gonna reduce the opacity of this layer 60% 57% this looks good now I'm gonna make one more layer from all of this and I'm gonna give this distorted little effects so I'm gonna hit select tool now I'm gonna make a small rectangular out of this like uh, width is well, width is a little bit more than height uh, like much more than height I'm gonna select this much now you can right click on it and select layer via copy now this will make a copy of the selected la selected portion and make it into a new layer now you can select the move tool and move it as you want but as you can see you you should not move it more than enough so like it it will it looks really bad so I'm gonna use the arrow keys to move it a little bit now go back to the layer again now go to select I'm gonna select from this area alright then again layer via copy and hit move tool and hit arrow keys 
little bit more distorted now again the same process now you can repeat this like any time you want any uh, like you want to distort a little bit more you can give more effects I'm gonna use my methods like a little bit use the move tool Again. <clears throat> now it's totally up to you to how much you want to edit it how much you want to distort it okay so this looks good to me now I'm also gonna edit this football edits like real small portion all right Let's layer via copy and move it okay so this looks really good so I guess you are satisfied with this if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section make sure to like and subscribe it will be really helpful thank you guys we'll see you again next week